Well, the second, well, last race in front well before we head off to the Hunter Chasers. There's a two mile hurdle for four yells. One is Sexton Blake, Kevin Meenigan. Two is Lemonade, Joshua Sutherland. Three is Western Province, Paul Rhodes. And Alcazan, Padre Gogan, El Dorado, Padre Gogan, Judy TOB1, and Seven Arena Bay in this juvenile handicap hurdle at Fontwell. And away they go. And on the inside, Arena Bay has the early advantage from Manel Kazen behind that. The yellow colors are Judy T. Up on the inside is Western Province of Paul Rose who jumped the first, but jumping it much better was Sexton Blake who moved up into second now. Out wide is Lemonade for Joshua Sullivan. At the back of the field we have El Dorado for Patrick Gogan, about eight lengths off this leader, which is Arena Bay for Alex Cherry. So Alex Cherry's Arena Bay takes him along from Sexton Blake in second, about two lengths back to Judy T with Lemonade on that one's outside. Then comes on the Alcazan for Patrick Gogan, then followed by Western Province, about two lengths further back, and El Dorado at the back of the field for Patrick Gogan about 10 lengths off the leader now it's Arena Bay who walks through that a very slow jump by Arena Bay now only about a length clear of Sexton Blake in second three lengths back to Judy T for OB1 in those yellow colours then comes Joshua Sullivan's Lemonade on the inside is Anel Kazen with the Western Province on that one's outside and Al Dorado's way off the last horse at this stage and not in the picture so Arena Bay the leader from Sexton Blake in second. Then comes Judy T with Western Province about five lengths back. Lemonade on that one's inside and El Dorado on the inside of that as they pass get to the next and Arena Bay. Better jump there from Arena Bay from Sexton Blake in second as they pass the winning post for the penultimate time and head out on their final circuit here at Fontwell. So Arena Bay the leader from Sexton Blake in second but four lengths back to Judy T in third for Obi Wan. Uh, slow jump by Sexton Blake loses some ground on Arena Bay, who's now clear by about three lengths. Sexton Blake is still second from Judy T, but four lengths three lengths back in third. Two lengths further back to Western Province, and then Anel Kazen and Lemonade running together. And I think Alder Road is totally out of it at the back of the field. There's a jump at next. So Arena Bay. Two lengths clear for Alex Cherry from Sexton Blake for Kevin Meenigan in second. Then comes Obi-Wan's Judy T with Western Province and that one's outside. Travelling well enough is Alnir Kazan behind it and Lemonade is still in touch. About eight lengths off this leader. So Arena Bay for Alex Cherry. Clear in front from Sexton Blake. Moving close on the outside is Judy T for Obi Wan. They all jump it relatively well. Uh, a big blunder by Western Province back in fourth. It's uh, now being passed by Neil Kazen. Then comes Lemonade. It's Fontwell, so the ones at the back are really going to have to get moving to try to get to these leaders because the uh, favours front running horses. So Arena Bay in front from Sexton Blake and Judy T. But here comes Anel Kazen who is making a forward move. Also Lemonade's trying to run on. So it's Arena Bay still in front, but Anel Kazen is coming up to grab Arena Bay. And it's Anel Kazen who jumps to the front for Patrick Hogan. Anil Kazen from Sexton Blake and Judy T. But Anil Kazen has now gone three, four, five lengths clear. Jumps the next really well. And Anil Kazan has gone. Anil Kazan, six, seven lengths clear for Patrick Hogan. He's only got the fence in front of him to worry about because I think he's got the, the horses beaten behind him. It's Anil Kazan, but Judy T is running in second. Anil Kazan is getting wary in front, and here comes Judy T for Obi Wan. Anil Kazan, Judy T is finishing strongly up the outside. A jump for next, and Judy T jumps to the front for Obi Wan. And Judy T is drawing clear for the American challenger, and Judy T is going to win the last race at Fontville farming Dalkazan in second Western Province is back in third for Paul Rose and Never Dangerous third and Obi-Wan picks up a race with Judy T who wins the juvenile handicap from Anil Kazan for Padre Gogan who hit the front earlier and looked like a winner but tired late on Lemonade was back in third for Joshua Sutherland and Never Dangerous third and Western Province was fourth for Paul Rhodes Sexton Blake finished back in fifth for Kevin Meenigan